it's your girl Blanche Ingram and you are welcome to the Blanche Ingram TV show. So many of you know this picture, the picture of late a fever that is circulating. It has been circulating in the media now for some days. She is the girl who left Ghana to go do her up in Nigeria. And at the end of the day, she couldn't come back because she is now called late a fever. So many of you are asking the question, these questions online. What happened? Why was she killed? Guys, I will beg you to watch this video to the end because I will just be taking you through the story of what happened, why she went to Nigeria and what actually transpired in Nigeria that led to the loss of her life. Not only her, remember she was with her friend, Celine, two beautiful young ladies just went off one morning like that and that was the end of their life young these two ladies afiba from ghana and selim had a date with mr andrew so many people don't know who mr andrew is mr andrew is a nigerian but lived all almost all his life in uk and why in uk he did so many dirty businesses but what actually brought him back to nigeria was the fact that he was allegedly accused for assaulting a lady and when the uk police was after him he flew to nigeria and there in nigeria he established a business of luring young girls to his house and when mr andrew is alleged to be in the business of buying and selling human parts that is why when he successfully draw these ladies to his house he will sexually abuse them maltreat them steal from them and at the end of the day eliminate them and sell their body parts this is a call for consent i think young ladies who just want to do it the fastest way need to watch this mr andrew criminal activities came to lamlight when celine and afiba left to go see him in Abba. And as we are speaking, they haven't returned to their homes. Why? Because they are no more. Now, let's give a clear story on how or of how this thing happened. Mr. Andrew saw Celine on social media, striped up a friendly conversation with her. And as you know, some ladies will just always accept to anybody, especially when you show them that you can pay, especially when you show them that you are worth to do, you are well to do, especially when you show them that you are a rich guy, they will always fall. So this is how Celine accepted Mr. Andrew's friendly proposal. So many people are wondering, how did Afiba come into the picture? It is said that Mr. Andrew must have seen a fever on Celine's social media platform and then proposed to Celine to bring her friend along. And this thing is even in the text message they had before the sudden loss of lives. I will just read them to you. This is Mr. Andrew texting. Hello, Celine. We last spoke two years ago. And Celine said, Hey, Andrew, good afternoon. I'm cool. Mr. Andrew says, nice, I am good too. How is your friend? Celine says, she is cool. Mr. Andrew says, nice. So what, what I was saying about both of you coming over and keeping me company for a couple of days, how much, <laughs> how much will it cost me? Like, come Saturday, leave Monday. And Celine replied, because of you, I want, because of you, one million for both of us. And Mr. Andrew is like, you know, playing some games. Of course, he had to be a little bit, you know, behave as if the one million is too much so that Celine and, and, uh, and uh, Afiba will not Think that something is fishing and this is when these two ladies and it didn't only end here 
to top it off, to make it, to show them that gentleman lifestyle, is that Andrew went ahead to forward 100,000 Naira to them as taxi fare. So many ladies will jump to this opportunity, but then you're jumping into your grave, girl. So this is what actually transpired. So that time, that morning, Celine and Afiba got dressed, took a cap off to Mr. Andrew's house. But then Mr. Andrews was wise enough because he didn't give his address to Celine and Afiba. He gave the address of a hotel. And when Celine and Afiba arrived at that hotel, Mr. Andrew drove to that place, picked them up, and went with them to his house. But as you know, Celine and Afiba arrived at Mr. Andrew's house. Celine went ahead to make some videos. Of course, you know, ladies, oh, this guy, is, he, she must have been saying in this video, look at this guy, his house is very nice, he is very rich, and so on and so forth. And when she finished making that video, he sent the video to her friend, if not friends. Of course, you know, ladies. <laughs> Trouble started when Celine sent a picture of the room they were in to her friends saying we have been kidnapped and after that video was sent Celine and Afiba went offline no means of communication their social media pages were blocked and everything went red when all the effort to get to Celine and Afiba were abortive the family of Celine decided to take this matter to the police Investigation was open and Afiba and Celine were traced to Mr. Andrew's house. And upon searching the house, the police found items belonging to Afiba and Celine in Mr. Andrew's house. They, find, they found items like her handbag, her phone, and other personal belongings. And also, upon investigation, the police realized that the sum of one million naira was transferred from one of the ladies' accounts into Mr. Andrew's account. And this was the same account that the 100 naira was transferred from to Celine and our favor for transportation. It is getting more and more interesting, isn't it? It was pretty clear that Mr. Andrew had a lot of explaining to do. But the issue is this, Mr. Andrew refused to say a word because even phone recordings, the video, the evidences were there to show that Mr. Andrew actually invited Celine and Afiba to his house. And they actually honored the invitation. But at that point, they were nowhere to be found. The police took Mr. Andrew into custody. But as we know, African police, Nigerian police are all, most of them are all very corrupt. Mr. Andrew didn't want to say anything. And we know how an African police can force the truth out of somebody. But then this was not done to Mr. Andrew. That is where people started seeing something fishy in it. It was allegedly said that Mr. Andrew had the police under his control, probably because he is very rich and he buys them over. Hmm. So, after the arrest of Mr. Andrew, so many people came up, so many victims, so many ladies came up and told the public how Mr. Andrew did the same thing to them and it's just by the grace of God that they were able to escape. But then we know that so many also went down without anybody noticing. So when this Mr. Andrew was still under police custody and he noticed that his lid has been blown, do you know what he did? He went ahead to put all his social media platforms into private. But the question is this, how did he get hold of a phone when he was in prison or when he was still under police custody? So the question here is, is Celine an Afiba? alive this question will be answered in our next video so guys make sure you check up on the next video